Giovanni Auditore, you and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! Need to get closer. In the absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return. I swear we will! Father! There! Grab the boy! He's one of them! I'll kill you for what you've done! Guards! Arrest him! Abba Fettel. Better run, boy. And fast! Go, go! Stop her, Am I to I'm over! I've got a little request for you. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there, but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. Serezio, thank God. I've been looking everywhere for you. I couldn't stop them, Annetta. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What if my mother and sister... They're safe. I'll bring you to them. No. It's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house. Just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way.
outlandish horde. This seems quite well out. We have the wrong building. No. No, this is it. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego. Call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. I understand your desire for vengeance, but the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. And why are you going to teach me how to kill? I'm not. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Come. Discretion is paramount in my profession. We must walk the streets freely, seen but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us, and become one with the city's crowds. My girls will show you how.
Bene. Now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. Thief! Thief! Once you've stolen from someone, Ezio, you mustn't linger. You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Now that you have learned how to approach the enemy, we need to find you a suitable weapon. What would you have me use? Ah, but you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. See, si. but how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? I too know betrayal. Merchants within the glorious Republic's walls. Ooh, 
damage! What did all the cut? Expensive, but my goods are worth the extra fatigue! Move! The Auditore! I... I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened? Ah! Where are my manners? Welcome back! Now, how can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course! Come! This way! Ah, che pasticcio. Tutto santo giorno che cerco. Let me clear a space. All right, let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? The contents of this page are encrypted. But if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. Remarkable. If we transpose the letters and then select every third... There! It's finished! Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please, bring it to me. You have my word. And thank you for fixing this. It... By order of the Florentine Guard! Open this door! Uh, just a moment. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? See, si. how may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. What seems to be the trouble? A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Ah, ready to talk? What about now? Ah. 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 Have you not? Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Eh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? The city gives them to me for research. See? 
like it never happened. Thank you, Leonardo. For everything. Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. Gentle hanging, partial flaying, and amputations. With manhood first, of course. Get out of here! You were gone for quite a while. Leonardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. Yeah. <laughs> 
Again with this? You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends, which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes, your allies the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Trust you're enjoying yourselves. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the auditorium. And to think I once thought of Giovanni as a brother. Don't blame yourself. How could you have known I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I should. If you'll excuse me for a moment. Uberto, a moment of your time? Anything for you, Beatrice. <laughs> so, tell us, how does it feel to be a hero? Please, I am no such thing. As Gonfalo Nieri, it is my duty to ensure that the city of Firenze remains a shining beacon of justice. Corruption and its ilk shall find no purchase here, so long as I am in control. You are a treasure, Uberto. I hope Lorenzo recognizes that. Yes, our great leader, Lorenzo. <clears throat> I'll see you ladies later. You would have done the same to save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. The Auditorio are not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditore! Amici, why are you so 
Let me get out of your way. <laughs> 